What? Oh, Jesus. Is it time to make another kitten video? Yeah, how many more of these do I have to make? What is this, episode 190? You know, every time I make one of these, it just gives people an excuse to send me email. Chris, you're lazy. When are you gonna make another video? Hi, Chris, you look like hell lately. You look exhausted. Oh, do I? I'm sorry that I'm working 24 hours a day pioneering the internet. Nobody appreciates how hard I work. Everyone thinks it's all glamour and excitement being the number one kitty cat blogger on the internet today. No, people don't appreciate me. They don't what? Save it for International Feel Sorry For Yourself Day? I got news for you. It is International Feel Sorry For Yourself Day. It's the one day of the year when you can act like the sucky little bitch you are. I'd like to thank all my viewers all over the world who sent me emails feeling sorry for themselves. Like Mike who used a cutting knife to make a picture mat, but made his finger into a hamburger instead. 13 year old Trevor writes, hey Chris, I just hit puberty. Lucky me. 16-year-old Miley in Oklahoma writes, Last week I got my very first car, Chris. Look what I did with it. And Kaz in Ottawa writes, My whole family took a picture with our cat Maxine when she was sick. She just died, Chris. We are devastated. It would mean so much to us if you could put up her picture for International Feel Sorry for Yourself Day. Sure, Kaz. Thanks for sending pictures of your dead cat. You look so sad. Well, last time on Cute with Chris, I asked you to vote on who is cuter. Guinea pig. Mr. Tut, or Faust the horse who likes to pick fights with water. I hate you, water. The votes have been tabulated and the winner is Faust. Well, well, well. Cut down on you, water. Looks like you got a smackdown. You know what, water? You're the most stuck up liquid in the liquid family. Oh, I'm waves. Now I'm ice. Oh, maybe today I'll be rain. Pick a physical manifestation and stick to it, water. Oh, I'm water. You need me for life. No, I need you to catch the crap in my toilet bowl and then get the hell out of my house. Sick of your drip, drip, drip. At least orange juice has the common decency to have a flavor. You're boring, water. You bore me. Why don't you go evaporate? You know, the horse is right. It is fun to pick fights with water. And now it's time for Heartfelt Feelings on International Feel Sorry For Yourself Day. You know, uh, one thing I love about International Feel Sorry For Yourself Day is the chance to heal hearts. I've received emails from people all over the world, people who are hurting, people who need someone to feel sorry for them. Kelsey in Georgia writes, Hi Chris, I'm not bragging when I say this, but I'm really pretty. At least that's what people tell me. Nobody ever compliments me on my brains, which are real because I get A's and B's in college. I have lots of guys hitting on me. Chris, pretty people have problems too. And why can't others understand that? Oh, Kelsey, I'm so sorry you are pretty. It must be so hard. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take a look at this picture you just sent me here and I'm, I'm just, just to see how pretty you are. Okay, I'm looking at Kelsey's picture here that she sent me. Kelsey, who is too pretty. This is too easy. A viewer pets now. Time for viewer pets. Today's very special International Feel Sorry For Yourself Day viewer pet is Bruce with the chin tumor. I'm also going to show you Noelle's dog Sophie who may have been poisoned by the neighbors and Roger the Boxer who has a case of fleas. I'm sorry. Well, thank you for so much for joining me here today on my favorite holiday of the year, International Feel Sorry For Yourself Day. I will be running sob stories every day this week on cutewithchris.com. Hey, if no one appreciates you, or if nothing in life goes right for you, or if you're the victim of an unspeakable tragedy, send me your story so we can be entertained by your despair. It's fun to feel sorry for things. You know, Kelsey, the overly pretty lady, I'm looking at your picture here and you actually, you actually are pretty. In a in a date your manager at Applebee's kind of way. And I also happen to agree with you, pretty people do have problems. You know, pretty people get cancer, they get hit by buses, they lose their multi-million dollar modeling contracts. I'm just not sure prettiness itself is a reason to wallow in self-pity. But you know what? I'm willing to admit that I might be wrong. So I'm, I, I'm gonna post your picture at cutewithchris.com for everyone to see. Just on the off chance that you don't have to feel sorry for yourself anymore. Because you're not as pretty as you think you are. Here's hoping. 
Who is international feel sorry for yourself, they cuter? Roger who has fleas, Bruce the face tumor, or Mike's bloody finger? Keep those sob stories coming, people, and we'll see you next time on... Cute! With Chris. That's my private zone. Hey, thanks to the first 50 people who emailed me last week about my super secret brand new web project. Your notes were really helpful. I'm almost finished with the adjustments and I'll have the new show up and running later this week and I will send out the secret link to the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other people who emailed me last week. Uh, you'll get the secret link too. Watch for it. Bye.